think that people think they know how to listen, but I think that listening is definitely a skill that you're not really taught growing up. It's missing that real connection that people need to have to really be able to get to the stuff where we can actually help each other grow and help each other learn and understand what we're feeling. We are all self-obsessed. We care about ourselves, and that is normal, for sure. Like, we should prioritize ourselves. But that comes at a cost where we um, lose, the, lose the value of human connection, human bond, and then that takes a toll on our health, on our mental health. Facebook and Instagram, you see people traveling the world and out to these expensive brunches, but you don't see them at four in the morning doubting if they can finish their major, how they're gonna get this internship, or like struggling because every minute of their day is planned. Social comparison's almost impossible to avoid no matter how hard we try and we see what everyone else is doing and we always aspire to be better. It's such a high-tech, high-speed, high-stress world and um, the need is so much greater for people to take time to listen to each other but it happens less and less. And I think that it's important that we uh, hear people out and we are being heard out as, yeah, and it goes both ways. It's taken a lot of hard times and a lot of really difficult situations that I've been through or that friends have been through to really think, okay, you're really struggling right now and maybe you don't notice it and maybe I'm seeing something that you don't even realize that you're feeling, but like, we need to sit down and talk about it because otherwise you're going to keep going down this path. We like to use the duck analogy of, of swimming duck is on the surface of the water just gliding along and the water is parting its way so that the duck can move along its course but underneath the water its feet are treading super super quickly and it's very turbulent and I think that happens a lot at Penn because everyone wants to say that they're doing great and they're surviving eight classes and sleeping eight hours and they're involved in five clubs and the list goes on and on and on. I think that the way that I define active listening would be that you're with a friend and your phone is down and your computer is closed and you are making eye contact. Those are the three, maybe the three most necessary things. And then you say, so tell me what's going on and you're quiet. We all feel insecure or troubled at challenge at times and it's human. Please be vulnerable with me, and I'm gonna to listen to you, and I'm gonna take time with you, and when I need it, you'll do the same for me. We can all share our burdens, and by sharing them, lighten them, and that's really powerful. Hi, Maddie, how are you? I'm okay, how are you? I'm okay. I feel a little worried because I've noticed that you haven't been coming out as much and you've been spending a lot of time in your room or, you know, when you come home you look a little down and just exhausted from the day and I just wanted to check in and see if there was something going on that you wanted to talk about. Um, I'm really here to just listen. I want to just be there for you. Um, I mean, just so many stressors, like uh, I'm graduating in two weeks and I still don't have a job. I feel kind of like a failure. All my friends have jobs. I think it's really hard to come across perfect on social media all the time. It seems like there's a lot of different categories nowadays, like the pictures all have to be so high quality and like your dress has to be perfect and your smile has to be great and your date has to be cute and it all just seems to be out of my control sometimes. So I think maybe eating is the way that I can feel more empowered to be in charge again. Where does this pressure come from that says you have to do these things? Yeah, I can definitely understand why seeing the pictures would be really hard. It's always tough to feel left out, especially when it's crystallized forever by these images that are now going to be all over social media. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that now, with what we've been saying, it's probably worth it to just let it go. I've been having a bit of a hard time. Um, my parents called me yesterday and told me that they have decided to get divorced. I'm so sorry to hear about that. Um, Thank you. Would you like to talk a little bit more about it, about how it makes you feel? Or? Yeah, I think that I'm not really even sure how it makes me feel. 
I know that you must be confused because there's there's no right answer to this. You you should definitely fo uh, you want to focus on your studies, but you also uh, want to be there for everyone in your family. Just remember that they're all adults, and your siblings, and your family, and um, it's it's difficult for all of them. But it's uh, it, so have understanding for them, but have understanding for yourself. Do you think there's any other ways you can make yourself feel better about this without counting calories and having to worry about that all the time? I don't know, maybe something like remembering to treat myself every once in a while or make sure to schedule meals with other people like you so that you can help hold me accountable. I don't know, do you have any other ideas? I think that you are so great at so many things and that instead of worrying about being great at everything, we should celebrate what you are good at, and I'm always here for you. Thank you so much for helping me always. Oh, of course. I really enjoyed our friendship. Thank you for thank you for finding the time to share this with me. I really appreciate your trust. I, I and just remember, I'm I'm here for you.